By choosing the First Mate Marine Safety and Security System, you now have safety and confidence in the palm of your hand. The First Mate system provides overboard alerts and distress messaging in emergency situations, as well as a theft deterrent system, or TDS. Before we get started on our First Mate installation, let's walk through the contents of the First Mate kit for Mercury SmartCraft engines, as well as the tools we will be needing for the install. Each kit contains one First Mate hub, one package of four screws, one antenna, one NFC chip, one captain's fob kit, which contains the captain's fob and wearables, and one primary harness. This harness will connect to both your ignition and junction box for SmartCraft integration. You will also need to verify your vessel is compatible with the First Mate Marine Safety and Security System. Before beginning the installation process, confirm your vessel is equipped with a six pin key switch, a smart craft engine, model year 2004 or newer, and 40 horsepower or above, a junction box with an open port. If no open port is available, a larger junction box will be necessary to complete the installation. A new junction box can be purchased from and installed by your authorized Mercury dealer. This video demonstrates the connections on a single engine vessel. If you do have multiple engines, you will need to be sure that you have purchased the correct kit based on your number of engines. For multi-engine applications, see the detailed diagrams at firstmate.com. For this install, you will need a pair of snips, a wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, a tape measure, zip ties, a pen or marker, and a drill and drill bit. Before working on or around electrical system components, turn off the main power switch and disconnect the battery cables from the battery to prevent injury or damage to the electrical system. Now that the electrical supply has been turned off, you are ready to safely install the first mate system. Start by removing all necessary trim panels to determine a location to permanently mount the hub. The ideal location should be a flat surface at least two inches away from other electronic devices. It should also be located near the helm in an area that's protected from the elements. The preferred mounting orientation is with the hub facing fore or aft and perpendicular to the vessel's center line. Once you determine a location, be sure to route all cables and harnesses prior to drilling any holes to ensure you have adequate length to make the necessary connections. To mount the hub, first mark the location for mounting the holes using the first mate hub as a template. If using the provided fasteners, use an eighth inch bit to drill pilot holes. Now, attach the hub with the provided fasteners using your screwdriver. You want to be sure your hub is snug, but be mindful not to over tighten your fasteners. Now that you have the hub mounted, you are ready to begin connecting the electrical components. The front of your hub has three connection ports. The middle port is an NMEA port and will only be used if your vessel is equipped with an NMEA 2000 network. This connection is not required for the system to operate with your Mercury SmartCraft equipped vessel. First, verify the six pin key switch harness is accessible and that there is adequate harness length to make the six pin harness and the junction box connections. Start by connecting the primary power connector to the connection port labeled power. Ensure the arrow on the harness is oriented to the 12 o'clock position on the hub. Slide the connector onto the hub and turn the collar one quarter turn until it seats. Check the connection to ensure it is secure. Next, you're ready to connect the primary harness to the junction box, which will enable Mercury SmartCraft connectivity. If there is a weather cap on the junction box port you've chosen, remove it and plug in the corresponding first mate connector. Now, you're ready to connect the six pin key switch harness connector. Locate the key switch harness and unplug the connection. Restore that connection by plugging the key switch connectors from your hub harness in line. Now, you are ready to route and install the antenna. First, locate a suitable area to permanently mount the antenna. Some installs, such as this example, will require the antenna to be mounted in other areas of the boat. Ensure the antenna can be mounted at least 10 inches away from other electronic equipment. It can be mounted under the helm, but you should avoid mounting it near obstructions when possible. 
It is also important to note that the antenna should only be mounted vertically from either top or bottom as indicated by the green check marks. Make sure to route the cable from the desired antenna location to the hub to ensure you have adequate cable length before proceeding with installation. Once verified, mount the antenna using the two-sided adhesive product in the kit. Finally, connect the antenna harness to the hub. Zip tie any loose cables in place if necessary. Your first mate kit is now fully connected to your boat. The next step of the installation portion is to attach the NFC chip to the key ring. You can now install the battery in the captain's fob and securely tighten the back cover using a coin. Insert the assembled fob into the wearable of your choosing. For multiple passenger situations, passenger fobs can be purchased separately. The final step is to reconnect your batteries so you can proceed to setup and configuration. Now that your FirstMate system is installed, download the FirstMate app from either the App Store or Google Play. Make sure to check out the account setup video to fully configure and test your system. For additional how-to videos and other FirstMate marine safety and security system support, visit firstmate.com and choose support in the main menu.